But let's assume Ben Simmons doesn't play again for the 76ers. What's your expectations for Philadelphia this season? Ben Simmons doesn't play, but they like they keep him on the roster. Joel Embiid's a talented, talented guy. Tobias Harris, yet another underrated guy people don't talk about enough. I see them going about the 4-5 and five seed in the East. I think, like I said earlier, the Bulls are a sneaky team to watch out for. You got the Bucks. The Nets have their own drama right now, but at the same time, James Harden and Kyrie KD. is a great duo. You got the Celtics you need to watch for, the Heat you need to watch for. The New York Knicks don't look too bad either. They don't have a true superstar, but at the um, same time. Evan Fournier? Evan, shout out Evan Fournier. Carrying my fantasy basketball team right now with a hot 69 points last night. But, yeah, like the Knicks, they don't have a true superstar on that roster. I mean, Julius Randle won most improved player last year. But I think that's the same situation as the Bulls. No true superstar, but just a lot of really talented guys. They got multiple all-star appearances in Chicago. Yeah, but DeRozan's washed. He's not the same guy he was. He's second most assists, 20 points a game, an efficient... Here, let me look. 50%, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly. Yeah. DeMar DeRozan shot 50% last year from the field. Well, 21 points a game with seven assists. I can't say that's washed. Just because he doesn't have the same athleticism anymore, his playmaking has vastly improved to where people used to know it at. So I can't say he's washed. He's just evolved. Similar to almost like how Blake Griffin did. He was this dunker in L.A. with the Clippers. And then he went to Detroit, and he wasn't dunking as much anymore, as people famously pointed out over and over and over again. But he did become more skilled in the game of basketball shooting more threes, getting more assists, running the offense a little bit through him more. And I think that's the same thing you're seeing with DeRozan at this point in his career. And going back to Ben Simmons going to the Spurs, I think it's because Popovich did help DeMar DeRozan out when he was in San Antonio a ton. I think Greg Popovich is a great coach. I don't think anybody disagrees with that statement. If you do, you're wrong. 100% agreed. And that's why I mentioned the Spurs earlier with the Ben Simmons stuff. If I mean, the Spurs don't have crazy assets, but if they could pull it off, I'd be very, very intrigued by, to see what Popovich could do with Ben Simmons. Yeah, going back to the expectations for the 76ers, mine are not high. I think even without Ben, they're still a playoff team, and I could see them going as high as four. I could see them going as low as playing team. Yeah. But just because how how disappointing they've been for so many years. We talk about a team that had Ben Simmons, Jimmy Butler, Tobias Harrison, Joel Embiid, and didn't do anything. Nothing. Well, I can't. We should correct ourselves. One crazy bounce by Kawhi Leonard sent him home. A win's that a was, win. A loss is a loss. Doesn't matter. Don't get me wrong there. But that is, I can't say they didn't do anything. It was game seven, and it was against the eventual champions. Hey, still got bounced. True. I don't have high expectations for them. I think they're still a first-round exit team no matter yep. what seed they end up with. For sure. 